Cervical side flexion. This exercise is used to increase or maintain the range of movement in your neck. So it's really important during episodes of neck pain that we keep moving. Prolonged stiffness can put stress and strain on the joints and the soft tissues and further increase your pain and reduce your function. By keeping moving, it's going to help you to recover from this episode of neck pain and also help to reduce the risk of reoccurrence in the future. So to perform the exercise, we need to be sat in a supported position, feet on the floor, hip distance apart. Keeping your shoulders relaxed, I want you to take your left ear to your left shoulder. As far as you comfortably can, hold for a few seconds and return to start position. Repeat to the other side. It's normal to feel some discomfort during this exercise. If zero is no pain and ten is the worst pain you've felt, two to three on that scale is acceptable. If you can comfortably perform that exercise, Sue, with a low level of discomfort, you can apply a little bit of overpressure. Using your hand onto the side of your head, gentle overpressure at the end of range will help to increase the amount of side flexion. Common faults that we see during this exercise are not maintaining an upright posture, which will reduce your range of movement in your neck. Another common fault that we see is hitching of the shoulder, again reducing the range of movement in the neck. If you experience any new symptoms or experience any tingling in your arms, you must stop the exercise and consult with your physiotherapist.